not always pleasant, you know, when you're swimming against the tide, and I usually am swimming against it. If I see something that I don't think is right or proper, and there's an opportunity to do something about it, then whether the other people think there's a problem or not, I'm, I'm right in there like a dirty shirt. If I go into a room and there's a table in there, as if it's not round, I can almost guarantee you I'm sitting at the head of it. Right now, I'm in the process of creating opportunities for people with disabilities to exercise. I also feel that it has to be inclusive. In other words, you don't want to be have all the people with a disability in a disability venue in a has to be accessible, but why can't it be where my family is exercising or my friends are exercising? Why do I have to go somewhere else? That is rubbish. I should be in the same place they are. So how do we do that? To have their independence, maintain their independence to the extent that they can. That's, you take it to there. How do you do that? Well, guess what? You need knowledge, you need research, you need a technology, you need all those things that you said. So if you start there, then anybody else with more can only benefit. First, one of the key things for, for the spam card, the skits, is that we, we create opportunities, that's it. That, and that's very important because I don't like being told what to do and I don't do it to other people. When I go up there, and I sincerely hope I go up there, I'll start reorganizing, I'm, I'm sure of it. You pay a price for swimming against the tide and putting ideas out there that are not fully embraced by the status quo. That, that is the name of the game. So to be an effective citizen, you must be prepared, as I see it, to put yourself on the line.